very cool. I mean, there's there's a lot. Of, I, I had also uh, every Wednesday, um, I have a chat with uh, Billy Billy Rennekamp on the Cosmos Hub Twitter. We do a Twitter. That was a, a great one. I tuned in for a little bit of that yesterday. It was yeah, fantastic. I, I saw you you sneaked in for for a few minutes, um, and we talked a lot about um, governance. We talked a lot about interchain security, right? So they're working on all of that, and then just to see like other projects are also adding value to to the hub or adding value to Atom directly and, and using it as collateral to issue and mint um, stable coins. I think there's so much coming from so many sides, right? Um, another one that was actually just announced is uh, the rebrand of the Gravity Dex, right? Uh, we talked about this uh, months, months, months ago that um, there's this new Dex coming right around the time when Osmosis came out. Um, in the beginning, there was obviously a little bit of confusion, you know, uh, who's gonna gain more traction. Um, Osmosis absolutely killed it. Um, so, but Gravity Dex is not dead. They're actually coming back now, rebranding to I think it's called Cre Crescent. 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 I don't know how yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and also with a big, I don't know how big, but like at least with an airdrop for for early um, Gravity Dex liquidity providers and early uh, Gravity Dex users, which you can access through the Emirates dashboard, right? Emirates.com. Um, and I made videos about this. I told you guys, you know, at least use it, make a trade, put some liquidity in there. You never know what's coming. Right? A tiny little LP position on, on gravity. Yeah. Just wh why not? You know, for a long time. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and now there's actually an airdrop calculator also where you can see how many um, I don't know what is it CRE tokens or whatever you're getting. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? Yesterday with Billy, we talked also a little bit about this in the context of. Uh, interchain security and potentially offloading the gravity decks which is currently residing on top of the cosmos hub chain maybe offloading that to its own zone or its own chain and then eventually peg it through interchain security back to the cosmos hub but what are your thoughts on that um on the whole rebranding the whole story and also kind of like the positioning on the uh, of the gravity decks so i mean yeah Saki, go for it no no you go you know, the the Gravity Dex for a long time, like, I think that when I was talking to Zaki before we launched the Gravity Dex, he was like, this is going to be a really interesting uh, test of how much uh, liquidity mining matters for bootstrapping a Dex. And I think that, like, it was a really wild show of power of how liquidity mining helps with bootstrapping. Like, for me personally, that was this moment where I was like, this is the new form of marketing that Web3 brings and that is sort of unique to our ecosystem and something that's incredibly powerful. Um, because, you know, we saw something with a traditional marketing machine and sort of traditional BD in the Gravity Dex where they were kind of going around to these various projects and doing these loans to get liquidity. Great plan, smart plan, not a bad plan but going up against this sort of novel bootstrap community bootstrapping mechanism with liquidity mining, and they just got steamrolled. Um, so, you know, the Gravity Dex didn't have the opportunity to do that because the Atom token had already been distributed. And we don't have a ton of like dry powder to go spend 20 to $50 million on liquidity mining, much less whatever Osmosis has spent on it, which is probably on the order of hundreds of millions at this point. Um, so, you know, that was interesting. Now the Gravity Dex coming back with its own token can offer these kind of incentives and, and can get, get a real chance to go launch. They've also had a lot of time to not only work on the underlying mechanics, I think they have some interesting and novel uh, Dex mechanics, but also on the front end as well in the, the user experience, which is something that the Tenderman team is, I think, going to do a great job on. So really excited to see the Crescent rebrand and launch. Yeah, the, um, the so like one was, you know, Liquidity mining, establishing a new brand. I mean, I like you know, uh, Osmosis was uh, Osmosis was transformative to Cosmos, absolutely. Um, and mostly, you know, you know, like I wouldn't say I got it wrong, but I, you know, in many ways, gravity the gravity bridge was our hedge um, because you need a dex for ICS twenty. Like that's the that's the most important thing to understand is that if you don't have a dex, ICS twenty is useless. Um, and so the ICS 20 IBC go to market was really driven by the decks, you know, uh, uh, gravity bridge was kind of our, 
I ended up, you know, it, it was plan A for a long time, you know, and osmosis, because like Gravity Bridge started, work, or Gravity Dex, the work started probably July 2020, and the work on osmosis started like February 2021. Like, mm. this is the whole... Uh, 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 you know, and uh, you know, the, the obviously the osmosis team is, is, is are beasts, um, and we always knew they were beasts. Um, uh, uh, but like when they decided to turn their attention to building, you know, the best interchain decks, obviously it now become it was a, it was a huge it was a game changer. Um, but it's it's like it's you know it's really good to see the 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 gravity decks vision getting now the ability to actually compete on a more level playing field with osmosis. And, you know, I'd say in general, you know, ongoing DEX innovation in Cosmos is going to be really good. I don't, you know, while, while extremely bullish on osmosis, I don't think this is the like last word in, yeah. in, in DEXs on Cosmos. Um, I think we're going to see ongoing innovation for, um, you know, like, you know, so you have Juno. So you have like the native DEXs are going to show up for all the smart contract platforms because there's a, a a reason for locality. There's Kinetic on Agoric. There's Juno Swap. I'm confused what's going on on Evmos, but <laughs> stuff. there's it's things going on there. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, uh, but stuff is happening. Uh, you know, and you know, in the, in the R and D phase, we have Penumbra, we have Anoma, like really rocking it like those are going to be amazing projects um uh we have abci plus plus that is going to come out and it's going to make mean that like cosmos is going to be the best place for doing figuring out your uh uh, uh your uh uh mev mitigation story for dexes right um and like asynchrony liquidations are coming like it's just like it's it's good like i'm it's it's so exciting as this we, is why I'm working all the time. I'm not working yeah. all the time because I like I need money. I'm working all the time because like this has been like the like it's it's like the greatest opportunity to build and like you know in, it is ever. I, I